Thanks very much hey, for joining us. Hey, David. Good afternoon. Excellent. Very good afternoon to you. We've heard a lot today about um, this lifestyle reset. What do you have to say about that? I mean, it's different in different places. How is that in Wuhan? Is that affecting the real estate market? Yeah, well, definitely. And I think it's not typically who are in, it's a global trend. And, um, and, and several researchers, like, for example, one from Knight Frank, uh, who did a global uh, survey among home buyers, uh, show very clearly what's, uh, what's, let's say, the result of the COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, over a quarter of, uh, of the buyers that they, that they uh, interviewed, they said that they are going to purchase a second home because of the pandemic that they will use as a kind of a retreat that they can escape to. And especially that counts for people who live in metropoles where it's congested. Uh, and, and especially after a period of confinement, uh, people want space. Uh, most of them, they want to have the test villas where they have space close to nature, close to water, where they have privacy and can live safely from external threats like a pandemic. And this retreat is also a place that they will, that they, they will meet with families. So it should be extended and, and suitable for uh, multi, uh, multi-generations. So it, it mainly their, their homes in, in resort towns uh, will become or have become a place from which they will work, exercise, learn, socialize, relax. And that all is something that also applies to Thailand and definitely also to Hua Hin. Uh, we can see that, we can hear that from our uh, clients, uh, uh, our agents. They also confirm that, let's say, around 80% of the, the properties they sold in the last uh, 12, 14 months are uh, villas that, that let's say, meet these kind of requirements in Hua Hin. And resort destinations like Hua Hin, like Phuket, Pattaya and Samui are perfect places to detox, in fact, from crowded, congested, cramped and polluted uh, metropolis uh, like, like Bangkok. And basically, I mean, in short, in, in, sorry, please. Yeah, in short, uh, buyers, but also tenants. It's not only buyers, right? Also, people who rent a home, uh, short term, long term, escape the city. They are looking and seeking a healthy, active lifestyle destination to enhance their physical, mental, and emotional well being. Right. Have you really seen this lifestyle reset um, impact in Thailand? I mean, um, uh, t- 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 Thais never really bought extensively in their own backyard. Um, certainly a lot, a lot of them. I mean, they may have bought some, but not really um, so much luxury real estate. Um, is, are, you, are you really seeing um, the, the Thai market adopt this? Yes. And, you know, it's kind of partly forced because of the fact that they simply cannot leave the country or they are afraid of, uh, of flying. Um, and, and they are kind of, well, forced to discover what Thailand has to offer. And we also have that in Hua Hin. It's, a, it's an interesting example I, I experienced last Saturday, a new, <clears throat> a new buyer of a villa at Banyan uh, signed and, and I joined. Uh, so I asked them their background, why they come to Hua Hin. And, uh, and the lady, she said, listen, my husband was raised here and, uh, in, in Bangkok and, and went to Hua Hin uh, when he was younger, but I never liked the place so much. So for me, it was a no-go. But she said, now we were four since last year. And she said, I was so surprised to see what resort towns like a Hua Hin has to offer. And obviously they fell in love because they bought a uh, beautiful villa at the Banyan uh, recently. Are you, are you able to give us some, uh, any, uh, any, any, any data on that? Um, uh, any sort of sales data? I know we're not here to talk about individual projects so much, but I think the audience might be interested in yeah. um, uh, I, 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 any transactions and um, value of transactions? Well, I can say that this year so far, uh, we sold for more than 125 million baht in sales value, uh, which is uh, much more than uh, 20 and, uh, and even the second half of 19 uh, combined. Um, and especially the, uh, the, the proximity to Bangkok, uh, the destination who we're in, but also the fact that we have, as you mentioned already, uh, activities uh, on site with the golf course, also important for many of them, uh, an on site uh, international standard medical center, especially in this period with, with COVID, is that, uh, is that a huge uh, asset? So, yeah, the, uh, that is one thing. But the other hand, we also have 41 rental villas, two bedroom villas. And since uh, June, more than 90% is occupied, and almost all Bangkokians that escaped, who escaped the city. 
Well, is that, has, that, has, that been, has that been kind of playing into this um, uh, the work from home? What do they call it? Um, uh, w H F H. Hey, thank you. To be honest, I prefer. I mean, I mean is, is, I prefer the W ahead, F W. To be honest, W F W. Okay. Because you know. That's not a wrestler. Um, that's not a wrestling um, uh, an acronym then. It could have been, but in this, in this case, it, it, it means working from wherever. Because, okay. you know, working from home, home is one of the places where you can work from. But I'm pretty sure that you and Bill and others, uh, including myself, we can work from wherever. As long as there is a decent internet, uh, good coffee, uh, preferably, and, uh, and an inspiring uh, environment where you can work. And that's, in fact, it's also key for why it's more easy for people to come to Hua Hin. Because they know that they can work from uh, Hua Hin. And the fact that kind of also COVID caused us to uh, to get used to a new normal in, in working, right? So, and, and once we have done that for a certain period of time, it becomes a new normal. And now it's quite normal to work from home, work from a restaurant, hotel or whatever, but also from a second home in Hua Hin. But, but, but I'm, I'm one, of the, I'm one of the changes being that these, these are not um, kind of the so-called digital nomads. These, are not, yeah, these, these can be busy executives and they're sitting in coffee shops and we're in um, Phuket, where have you, uh, Patia, um, and they're actually working, running their businesses. Yeah, definitely. And like, um, it, and, and if you have to uh, have a meeting, you can sit wherever and put a nice background that I have here because I don't think you believe that I'm really on, the, on this beautiful uh, terrace of one of our villas. I should have wore also a, uh, glasses like that. But you can, you can work from everywhere as long as the environment is yeah. OK. But I think the most important thing is it is a requirement for people when they, when they buy a home uh, at Banyan or wherever in, in Hua Hin or Phuket, whatever resort destination. You can combine the relaxed, healthy atmosphere, environment, nature, ocean, clean air, uh, and still you can work uh, from home or wherever, and, and that is uh, definitely one of the key requirements from our homeowners. Last quick question, please. Just regarding, um, you know, um, uh, if there is, um, we're going to see some data in a minute, and, uh, and some of the data is going to reveal, you know, Hua Hin being, being, being a really hot destination. And, uh, and I suppose the question is, I mean, just 10 years ago, Hua Hin was just, you know, it was a sleepy fishing village. I mean, is it going to be able to cope with this? Is it, um, does it have the infrastructure? Is it going to be something that the streets are going to be clogged with traffic? Does it have an airport that can, that can expand? I mean, just, just, just some, a few quick comments on that would be useful. Thanks. Yeah, well, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a key question. And there is also the perception from the past that Hua Hin is very difficult to reach. It will take a long time, four hours, five hours to get there. And in the past, in the, in the busy uh, days, the weekends, it was definitely the case. But I think most of the people they know, and living in Bangkok, they know that the, uh, the highway is, uh, is, is being widened at the moment and it uh, should be finished in the next uh, year and a half, which helps a lot. Um, there is being an elevated highway out of Bangkok from the construct construction there is a double track railway uh on the construction which should be ready within a year and a half and they extended the runway on the Hua Hin airport there is already a flight uh, between the Hua Hin and uh and Malaysia uh Kuala Lumpur mm. but they are also working on uh, direct connections to Hong Kong Singapore and other destinations in uh, Asia and there is uh, a four-lane new highway ring road around Hua Hin. So yes, definitely Hua Hin has been prepared to cope with this kind of uh, number of visitors. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, Jed Kwan, uh, CEO of Banyan Hua Hin, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing yeah. your insights.